today. And I want to ask you this question. Have you ever been pushed? When I was 18, I had my high school graduation party. And I made exactly $200 at that party. The next day, I woke up in the morning and I went to the airport in Fremont. Now, there are a few guys that hang out at the airport in Fremont, and they sit in these lawn chairs drinking Coca-Cola, waiting for someone like me to stroll in. So I strolled in, and I said, are you guys the guys that do skydiving? Yes. Just happens that Dave does do skydiving. And he wanted to do some skydiving that day, and I wanted to do some skydiving. And it just so happens that skydiving cost exactly $200. So I joined my 45-minute class where I mostly learned to not freak out. That is one of the keys when you are jumping out of a plane. Don't freak out. So with my lessons intact, we went up into the plane. Now, I've been in a small plane. Some people get scared just in a small plane. But I've been in a small plane. I was perfectly fine. There was a group in front of me. Two people, I saw them jump. And I was hanging out of the door a little bit. They jumped. I was perfectly fine. Then it was my turn. And now I was going tandem. That means someone was going to be attached to my back so that nothing should go wrong. This was a bi wing plane. So when I moved out onto the wing, I stepped on one wing and there was a wing above me. And I held on to that wing. Dave. My instructor came out, he attached himself to the back of me, and we were ready. And he said, let go. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I did have my brain tell my hand to let go. My hand did exactly this. Nothing at all. So Dave, you probably thought maybe I didn't hear him. It's kind of windy up there. So he said, let go. My hand did exactly this. And at that point, Dave didn't say anything else. He just shoved me. And we started to tumble. Now, I was holding on tight, tight enough that it ripped skin out of both of the palms of my hand. In all of my 45 minutes of training, <laughs> flew out of the window. One thing you're not supposed to do is go like this. Huh? Because when you bend in half like that, you tumble. And once you start tumbling, it's kind of weird to stop tumbling. So Dave said, beep, get your beep, head beep, beep. Yes, those are inappropriate words. Yes. <laughs> and I realized that in that 45 minutes of training, he had taught me that I'm supposed to assume a certain position with my chest out, falling towards the ground, so you stabilize and you fall straight down. Now, once I realized that, skydiving became fun. We fell for about 30 seconds and then pulled the chute, a little stronger than I expected. And there's these handles on the parachute that you get to steer with. It's quite amazing how much you can steer those things. When I grabbed on the handle, the first thing I did was pull down on the left side as hard as I possibly could to see how well it would turn. And we slid way out to the side to this little spiral. Now, a few minutes later, we're approaching the ground. The whole key with landing on the ground is for me to get my legs out of Dave's way. So I lifted up my legs, Dave landed us perfectly, and we were back on planet Earth. Now the key here is that if I was up on that wing by myself, I'm not fully certain that I would have gone off the wing. And there are some moments like that in life where we encounter something that we want to do, or we kind of want to do, or we maybe might want to do. But when we get right to the precipice, of jumping off and really diving into that activity, there's a little bit of hesitation. There's something that holds us back a little bit. And that is the moment where you need a guy like Dave to just give you a little push. <laughs>